like that. So as you can see, it kind of swivels with me. I'm using the uh, angle. A bit of a row variations. This is like the neutral grip. You can do the uh, the canted grip, like so. You could kind of cool. really get a nice deep stretch. Uh, all right. See that's how I get a nice incline press. Yo, what's up guys? Rob Shootcraft here with Three Storm Fitness. And I'm going to be kind of re-reviewing my... Keep looking at my screen here. Camera's here. You're right there. Hello, you. Um, re-reviewing these gnarly handles from Titan Fitness. I did a review about three years ago. And uh, the reason I want to talk about these today is uh, because, first of all, I re-reviewed an Iron Neck last week. I thought, you know, there's a lot of products that I've used. It's been years since I've talked and since my initial review. It'd be cool to go through and just kind of give a quick, you know, state of the union, right, with at least the ones that I've used and have an opinion on. So this is one of the, those. I love these things. They are great. No regrets buying them. I'm, I'm talking about them because I, a good friend of mine was crapping on Titan Fitness the other day, <coughs> which a lot of people have, and uh, I'm not about to die on a hill defending Titan. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. But I told him, like, now, look, what you just told me, and it was, I don't remember, it was like a bench. It was an adjustable bench because he was all pissed off because Rogue, he went and bought it from them or whatever it was. It's like it's like $750 adjustable bench. He's like 300 pounds. Incline's like 350, 400. So, you know, it needs a lot. Of, it's this tight fitness one, I guess, just squeaked and died underneath him. And he thought the Rogue would be better, so he dropped the money on Rogue. And he's like, now Rogue's going the way of Titan. They suck too. It's just falling apart. Anyways, I'm like, Titan does make some good stuff sometimes. That's not a reason to defend them as a brand necessarily. But I started talking about my gnarly angles. I'm like, you know what? I'll just make a video. Because I do love these things. And I think they're the exception uh, to the Titan sucks rule. Right? I don't like, my experience with Titan's been pretty good I'll, for what it's worth. But anyways, um, I'm not going to like talk about all the things these do. I'll, I'll show a bunch of like exercises that I've done with them. And I'll link to the uh, review I did a long time ago. Still pretty much applies. But um, they, you get two of them, right? They're 10 pounds each. They got a bunch of different grips. I mainly use them today. I've used them a ton. Back when I was training clients in here, I set up this like Sornex um, uh, Hurricane knockoff. I'll link to that video as well. Some of the videos, some of the exercises you see me doing um, will be from that. Uh, and it was great. I mean, I used to use it all the time. I set it up. It was a lot to set up, but it worked really well. It worked as intended, believe it or not. And so you got grips like this. You could do like supinated, uh, you know, supinated rows. You could do canned rows, candy grips. You could do neutral variations. And of course, you could do like these like Viking press kind of variations. I think I have a video of that somewhere. I got some old like, I don't know, I think people in the biz call it B footage, B reels, or something like that. I know B reel from Cypress Hill, but anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, my favorite exercise that I do with these things is like a mix between like a croc row and a metal meadows row. I'll, I'll link, I think I got a video of that too from a few months ago. Um, but they're like just crazy rows and you, you hold it like this. And I put my hand on the bench and I just like freaking, you kind of like cheat it up. Just see how many, you know, go for like as many reps as you can. Um, those are awesome. You don't have to have this to do that. Uh, you could just have like one of those, I can't remember what they're called, like the little posts 
they have like the you know two inch or two point one inch whatever uh, uh, sleeve here goes over it, and then you uh, and then it's just like a small narrow post that would work just fine. But since I had these, I use that for those. And they're freaking awesome. They're like they're probably my favorite back exercise other than ring pull-ups. Um, a couple of people asked. Uh, I was checking the comments on video on, the, on my original review. They asked, um, "Do I regret not buying righteous handles?" Uh, righteous handles are basically what Titan ripped off. At least as far as I know, Black Widow brand made these righteous handles. Uh, I don't have them. They're, they're very expensive. I'm sure they're awesome, but um, no, I don't regret it. I'm sorry, Black Widow. I, 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 know, I know your stuff's awesome. I got a lot of your stuff. But I, these, these have not left me wanting for more. They've held up really well. The paint's held up. Right? I got some like chalk imprints, whatever. End caps are solid. This little piece that I thought would suck has been bulletproof. It's not corrosive. I mean, honestly, I haven't done anything to take care of this thing. It's worked just fine. Another question people asked was... Um, does it slip off, right? No, not really. I never had that problem. You screw this thing on, screw it on tight. I mean, yeah, you can make it slip off if you're just, like, trying to, but, like, I mean, it, it's pulling the barbell before it pulls this off. So you really got to work to get that thing off. This clamps down pretty hard. It's pretty nice. Works well. I think those are the only two, like, real questions. I, I, anyways, love them. And uh, they are 65 bucks. Last I checked, they were on sale for 65 bucks. I think they're usually 85 So they're somewhere between. I, I'll try to link to a couple places where, where you can get them. Um, love them. Let me know if you have questions I'm, that I didn't cover. Or uh, old piece of equipment, maybe, if, if you can... Following this channel for a while, if there's a piece of equipment you're curious about, there's a good chance I haven't used it in a while, but uh, I'd love to talk about it. Um, maybe I'll talk about these scanners next, these little shoe socks I'm wearing. Those are, right, stay tuned for that. It's good. Oh, shoot. There you are. It's good stuff. All right, subscribe and uh, like, and have a great night.